Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. A big warm welcome if you're new here and thank you so much for joining me. So as you may be able to tell, I'm not home. <laughs> I'm still in Greece, in Europe and so grateful to be here in this beautiful country. And this made me think a lot about how we appear as tourists when we're abroad. And I've observed quite a lot since we arrived, which I thought you would love to hear about and that will be helpful for you as well. So these are my top six key tips to help you fit in and look less like a tourist when traveling in Europe this summer. I'll show you what not to wear and then offer my suggestions and show you my outfits too on what to wear instead. So you might ask, well, why wouldn't you want to look like a tourist? What's wrong with that? Well, I think it's much safer to blend in. You're honestly less likely to get scammed or pickpocketed if you're not walking around looking like a tourist, which can shout, hey, come here, I'm a foreign tourist, come and get me. <laughs> I also like to take inspiration from the country I'm in and to dress with a bit of influence from the culture that I'm in. So there are definitely things that you should consider not wearing, as they can be surefire indications that you're more Paris, Texas than Paris, France, or more Lisbon, Ireland than Lisbon, Portugal. <laughs> so let's kick off with my first tip, which is number one, no rucksacks. So I know that rucksacks are obviously very convenient, very practical, and we can take absolutely everything in them, can't we? However, when we carry a huge rucksack that looks as though we've got everything, including the kitchen sink in it, it really looks as though we're not local at all. You know, because when we're sightseeing, we need lots of stuff. So clearly we have come out for the day, not just pop to the shops from our local home around the corner. Now, another reason why you shouldn't carry a rucksack or a backpack is that they're notoriously easy to pickpocket and steal from. You know, they're on your back, so you can't see what's going on. And the material can also be slit underneath as well. And zips can be unzipped. So instead, try something like a tote bag, which looks much more considered and less tourist-like. You can still fit a lot in, but it looks much more stylish too. So make sure that it's got a zip and that you can tuck it somewhere like under your arm, which makes it much more difficult for thieves to reach. So you can see here that this bag is ideal as it helps the really very casual outfit look much more put together, but it's very practical and it's got a zip. Now, another little point on bags is bum bags, which I think you call fanny packs in the USA. Europeans don't wear these at all. And by the way, please don't refer them to as fanny packs when you come to the UK because fanny has a whole different meaning. I'm sure you know. And they're really touristy, you know. So a better option, if you want a smaller bag, is a pretty cross body bag, which you can position in front of you, but which will coordinate well with your outfit and look so much more polished. And of course, whilst you're moving around with your luggage, you do sometimes have no choice but to look like a tourist. Okay, so the next style mistake that you might be making, which you should definitely consider not bringing with you to Europe is, number two, no athletic clothing. So you won't generally find anyone in Southern Europe wearing athletic clothing unless they're doing something athletic, like running or going to the gym. So I would advise that you don't wear it either. Europeans don't tend to wear joggers or hoodies or sweatpants in the street or even leggings. I know these are very comfy, but there are lots of other comfy options to wear on holiday, which might help you to blend in a little bit more. So I suggest something like linen trousers, which are really comfortable with a loose t-shirt or a floaty cool skirt, which would be equally comfortable. Or if you wanted something that feels really relaxed but looks put together, you might consider something like this outfit. Now this white denim dress is comfy, it's easy, it's got some stretch in it and it's relaxed but still very put together. And of course it can be dressed up or down, um, you can dress it down with sneakers or up with heels of course. And so therefore it's perfect for day to evening. So here I've added some espadrilles for an evening meal that was really casual and relaxed and these are really comfortable and the wedge platform makes them feel much more secure and stable as well. So number three, and th a third styling point here, is relaxed daytime dressing, but not unkempt. Okay, so <laughs> you can see in this picture, the girl looks a little bit as though she's just stepped off a campsite where there were no washing facilities. <laughs> she's sporting so many features of a tourist. So here's a little quiz, ladies. How many examples of shouting, I'm a tourist, can you spot? Just pause the video for a minute and see how many you can get. 
I think I found at least five things. One, she's wearing a baseball cap, almost unheard of in Southern Europe. Two, a bag that she's put her whole life into. Three, her hair looks unwashed. Four, clothes look as though she's been wearing them for some time too. And five, she's wearing shorts and sneakers, which are okay, but a little bit on the touristy side when combined with the whole of the rest of the ensemble. And that's the really key point I want to make here. You know, I'm sure she's really sweet and I really don't want to be mean, but she could look a whole lot better, couldn't she? So women in Europe, by and large, don't look this unkempt. Generally, they take pride in their appearance, even if they look casual at the same time. But it's much more considered casual. And also, they tend to wear outfits that look like they've been thought about, rather than something like this. So as you can see here, the lady is sporting mixed items and mixed colours that actually don't look as though she's really thought about a polished look, I'm afraid. And the really cardinal sin, in my view, is the black socks. <laughs> now, I did create a video about fashion mistakes recently where I talked about socks. So I will link this under the video for you. So in this look that I'm wearing now, you can see actually it's the same top that I'm wearing here. Such pretty colours for this part of the world as well. Just really easy. It's viscose, it's breathable, um, it's got a little white vest underneath um, and just linen pants. And you know, this is the sort of thing that looks much more considered but is equally as comfortable, I'm sure, as that lady's outfit was. And another thing, of course, you know, you don't really need to iron it. Um, the, the viscose is, is sort of the sort of thing that you can pack really easily without having to iron it and of course the linen trousers while they look a little bit crumpled they're kind of meant to look a bit crumpled aren't they when you're wearing linen so you don't need to stress about that so on the same sort of theme another style tip that I want to point out to you is my number four make sure you dress up a little bit for dinner they do this a lot in Europe so try not to just wear the same stuff that you've been schlepping around all day in to dinner as well so here are a few examples from my own holiday here in Greece now this is a really cool option cool easy option is to start with the base of trousers I'm a huge fan of them for holidays they're comfy they're really stylish they hide all sorts of issues with our legs as well and these ones are particularly gorgeous and really good quality they've got such a beautiful flow and then all you have to do is to add simply add a top or a shirt and here in order to balance the outfit I've teamed them with a fitted one shoulder top and this one is from Amazon so really really reasonably priced but if you aren't comfortable with that sort of look showing off a shoulder any kind of top which wasn't too oversized would look amazing with trousers and a few other little details are these large drop pearl earrings which I adore from Bowdoin when they add a little bit of style to and my Michael Kors nude sandals which are really really short heel and very comfy or another example a little bit smarter for this next one uh, is this way of styling the linen trousers this is a really simple look it's got the white linen trousers a black top this is Karen Millen here but I think the look is smarter by the addition of this black top um, and this incredible necklace from amazon.com which I think really makes a statement and because of that I've kept the belt and the shoes nude with my Michael Kors sandals again and this belt which is also from Amazon you know it's amazing how one statement piece can really lift an outfit isn't it now if you prefer a dress have a look at this one this is one of my ultimate favorites at the moment this is a green fern dress this is a stunning pattern soft colors and this is from petite studio but it would fit many heights to be honest and if you've seen my recent video on petite style tips i will link it below you'll have seen it in all its glory I loved it so much, in fact, that I brought it on holiday with me. It's got this wonderful vibe of cool, chic, yet relaxed, and looking as though you haven't really made too much effort. And it's got pockets, yay! <laughs> Another option is to wear a simple outfit like this knit top, ivory trousers, and my sandals. Again, this is the Deirdre knit top. I will link it below. Um, and all you have to do is to pop a beautiful fine scarf around your shoulders for an evening out or for dinner. This just keeps your shoulders warm if it gets a little bit chilly in the evening. It looks so easy, but it is so elegant. Now this beautiful scarf, it is in lightweight, featherweight cashmere and it's from Obsio, a company I mentioned in one of my previous videos actually as a little discovery of mine and I had a beautiful blue one and this one is this gorgeous mustard yellow one. Absolutely love this. They come in lots and lots of different colours as well. 
So here you can see this beautiful orange bandage dress. Now, this is if you really want to dress up, but as long as you don't overdo the accessories, keep it modest with your jewelry, you'll still look in place. So as I say, I've kept the jewelry minimal with this beautiful dress with a small gold pendant, this one that I'm wearing here, and a gold bangle and nude sandals, as I think the dress is so outstanding that I didn't actually need to add anything at all, to be honest. Now, in this shot, we were on the Greek islands and I found my own little miniature lighthouse such a beautiful area of the world I'd really recommend it to you ladies I feel so grateful to be here anyway on to my next point which is don't wear anything that you clearly bought as a souvenir this is a really really big one when you live somewhere especially in Europe Generally speaking, people don't wear t-shirts or bags or anything with the name of the place that you live emblazoned on them. So in order not to look like a tourist, try to make sure that you don't advertise that you are one by wearing or carrying anything with the name of the city or the town or the country that you're visiting. What I would advise that you do is buy it if you love it and wear it back home. <laughs> or better still, buy something that doesn't actually have words all over it. That way you can wear it and carry it anywhere you like without it being an embarrassment. Okay, for my final style mistake, number six, no flip-flops unless you're on the beach or by the sea. So you might be thinking, okay, Deirdre, but I remember at the beginning of this video, I saw you wearing flip-flops with that linen shirt and the shorts outfit. And you'd be right, <laughs> because that was right at the beginning of our time here and I hadn't observed that this was so much of a style mistake as it is. So we all make them obviously. But if you don't want to look like a tourist, try to wear something else, such as the shoes that you've been seeing me uh, wearing in some of the other outfits and in this outfit with this beautiful orange Ted Baker top, the beautiful ivory tailored trousers and these lovely sandals, flat sandals. They're really, really comfortable and they're m in fact more comfortable than flip flops because they've got more kind of cover on the top, which means that you can walk easier. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I've been wearing these. These are from Marks and Spencer's ivory and gold and shoe sandals as well. And I will link them all below for you to have a little look at. They're just as comfy as flip flops, but they look so much better. Okay, so I do apologize for the noise here. We're quite near a road, but I thought you'd really like the, the view of the sea behind. Again, we're on one of the Greek islands, and I really hope that you've enjoyed these little style tips, which will help, I hope, that, that you'll feel more secure, more happy, more blended in, and more stylish, and more fabulous, of course, because that's what we're all about on this channel, uh, when you come to Europe or anywhere else actually. Um, so I hope you've really enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up, a like underneath the video. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe as it's a wonderful community and we have some lovely, lovely ladies on this channel. So I hope you have an amazing week, amazing few days, and I will see you really, really soon for more style videos. Lots of love to you all. Bye-bye.